night. Very easy one tonight from Chef Ricardo. Late night bedtime tea. We are done know it go already. Um yeah, so that's where I am at the moment. So we're gonna be doing uh a simple let's get the cooker on, you know, start to get things cracking on. You know, is a you know chef record is a late night bedtime thing. So we're gonna jump straight into it. And we want to make something fantastic tonight, something different on the menu tonight. And tune in, guys. I want you to tune in and share some love, share some support, and big up on yourself. My respect goes for you and whatever you guys are doing. Yeah, man, big up on yourself every time you're there, yard and you're there abroad. All right, I guess the chef record is at the moment. So, it is a little bit late. But we're still gonna jump straight into it and do some work. We have to get the work accomplished, completed. All right, Makai, big up yourself. Thank you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate the love. Yeah, man, we appreciate the love 100%. Yeah. All right, please share the video, waiting for a few more to come on the live. And then we can jump straight into it. Few more, few more. Let's get a few more on the live. All right, just a few more, and then we are. All right, yeah, man. We're gonna be doing something fantastic tonight. Valerie, thank you so much for our on the show tonight. We appreciate the love. Mother must be. Thank you so much for coming on the show tonight. We're going to be doing something fantastic tonight, guys. All right. Um, yeah, man. Big up my TikTok and my Facebook audience. My respect goes for you. We're going to be doing something lovely tonight. Something different. Um, this one is just a requested one. Um, from Chef Ricardo tonight. Requested video, guys. Someone said, Chef Ricardo, you have to do that recipe for me. You know? So I said, okay. I'm going to do it. Um, Fox Fox, thank you so much. Bashi, thank you so much for coming on the show. I'm um, one must be big up yourself every time. My respect goes for you. All right. find that one but it's all good but anyway let's get a few more people up on the live we got 20 likes let's share the video share the video guys before i start the show all right let's share the video let's share the video let's share the video um fox fox good afternoon paulette good morning david what's going on big up yourself all right, Makai. Yeah. Um. Money must be. I have respect for you, man, to coming on the show. Big up yourself. Anit Anderson. Good night. And this you're missing the show. If you're going to your bed, you're gonna have to watch it in the morning. Okay. Now we're going to start the show. And, you know what I mean, as I say, tonight is a very fantastic recipe tonight. So, guys, get in the kitchen. Start the kettle, and, you know what I mean? All right, Vicky, hello, NJ, big up yourself. Thank you so much. Good evening from New Jersey. All right, big up yourself. All right. Fox, Fox. I give tomorrow. Thank you so much. LD doesn't looking forward to to learn. Get to the kitchen with Chef Ricardo and let's learn how to do some stuff at home. If you want to learn how to do certain things at home, then you know what I mean get in the kitchen. And let's do this with Chef Ricardo today. We're gonna show you exactly how to make this on an amazing cup of tea. Alright, now, right here. Alright, guys. 
I got a large cup of water. We're gonna put it straight inside of the pot like this, okay? I'm gonna start the show right now. So yeah, show start right now. Yeah, man, the show start. All right. So if you're not using a pot and you're using a kekle, whatever you guys are using, um, one four six two, nice pot. You like my pot? Are you laughing at my pot? <laughs> you see this pot? It's one of the best pot in the world. This pot doesn't exist anymore. They stopped making them because when they recognized it was one of the best pot, I know the certain people who could able to get this pot, they stopped making them. So you can't get this pot anymore. All right. Now, yeah. Oh, thank you so much for enjoying the show. Lovely. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, man. Enjoy the show. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Um, you know, I mean, it's coming up to holiday season where a lot of people are gonna, you know, what I mean, yeah. Basically, yeah, I got some pineapple. I got roughly about three slices of pineapple. Okay, I take them from my freezer because I'm normally freeze my pineapple. All right, so right here we're gonna cut up some pineapple. And make a nice lovely cup of tea tonight. Okay. All right. Yeah, so pineapple straight into the water like this. All right. Make sure when you go to the supermarket this Christmas, you buy yourself some pineapple. Don't pour with this the skin. Save the skin and do them a chef recorder. Do all right? Yeah, man. Yeah. So we got pineapple. Here it is. Pineapple in the pot. All right there, all right guys. All right, pineapple. Yes, we got some pineapple. Then right here, we got a one cinnamon stick where we're gonna be using, okay? Simple, break up a cinnamon stick. Just like this, into the pot, all right guys? Beautiful, that is amazing. Yeah, la we did use this last night. This is some cloves. We're gonna be using some more cloves tonight, okay? Lovely portion of the cloves into the water. So right here, that's the cloves. We're gonna put that straight into the water. All right. Let's give that a spin. Excellent. All right. That looking good. Right here, we got some fresh organic ginger. As you guys can see, I'm always trying to use the best of the best as much as I can. All right. We're gonna grate up some ginger. I want you guys to look at this ginger you see how the color of this ginger look so this is the color of the ginger you need to see how your ginger look at home all right so as you can see it's a totally different kind of color the ginger have so basically these are proper organic ginger and they are so powerful all right we're gonna grate all this and put inside of it
think I may just put a little piece more. I know. I love my ginger. That looks amazing, honestly. Yeah, that looking really good, honestly. Here it is. We've got a nice, lovely teaspoon, tablespoon of fresh ginger. Straight into the pot. All right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man, this looking good. Right here, we got roughly about quarter of lemon. We're gonna be put this inside of it. Beautiful. Gonna get this cook up. All right, and this looking good. And I'll tell you something, guys. If you want to have little bit of um, color to it if you want to have a little bit of color to it just a little bit of color all right we're gonna show you of things that you can do at one point all right My name is Chef Rick, and I try my best to give you the best recipe them in the world. But as the guys can see, oh, that smell amazing. All right. Very good for the cool, for the flu, and for the stomach. Also, all right. Very, very good drink, guys. Let's turn off the cooker. All right. Leave that for it to simmer. Now, right here, we got some sorrel. That's Christmas. We're gonna put a little bit, roughly about a tablespoon of sorrel inside of it. We're gonna wash it off, all right? So let's rinse off the sorrel. Let's give it a little bit of color. Sorrel is very good for weight loss, you guys, remember. All right, so right here, that's the sorrel. Just gonna put that inside of it. And it's gonna give that rich, beautiful Christmas color look. But otherwise, very good for, you know what I mean, weight loss also. Not only just for drink for Christmas. All right, but as the guys can see. All right, that looks amazing. So we put the sorrel inside of it. And that looking good. All right, that's the color you are getting right there. Excellent. So we're gonna make that simmer down and cool down for a little bit. 
All right. Yeah. We're gonna make that cool down a little bit, and then we're gonna strain him off and have a drink. All right. We're gonna strain it off, and then we have a drink. So. Okay. All right. Mr. Wall going up on the live, you know. Craig's on my family. What's going on now? Um, SD, thank you so much. Underground. Don't get confused, man. You have to... When, when you go to a party or you go to a club or you go to a... Um, somewhere where you know it's a boy. Your friend them, they hang out and having a drink. You drink white rum. You drink... You're drinking all different kind of drink. You don't confuse yourself and say what I'm putting inside of my stomach. Alright? So this is not something to make you confusing. You can make your own decision and say, okay, I'm going to be trying this. Just like all of these fizzy juice have different kind of different kind of flavor juice. Different kind of recipe. Different kind of drink where you can drink at home. Alright? So you're going to have to try something what makes you, you know what I mean, can work for you. So underground, don't get yourself confusing with Chef Ricardo recipes. Um, you have to try something and see what works for you. There are thousands of things you can use at home. It doesn't matter. I just saw it go every day. Pineapple is good for you. If you want me to give you some help, um, benefit of the pineapple, I can do it for you. All right, underground. So you have, just like if you go to somewhere right now, and when even this Christmas, I guarantee you on your plate, you may have turkey, chicken, beef, lamb, rice, pasta. You're not going to confuse it. It's going one place, straight in your tummy. And it's sitting there for 24 hours before you even come out. So basically, instead I would be drinking fizzy juice or some alcohol or something, I'm drinking a natural cup of homemade tea, which is very good for the stomach and very good for your health and very good for weight loss and also... Help you with cholesterol in your body, which is causing for you to suffer. All right? That's where Chef Ricardo is. But if you're on medication, please check my recipes and check your doctor. I mean, sorry, guys. Check your doctor first. Don't get confused with the underground. Just be positive. Andrew, thank you so much for coming on the show. Um, Danet Jizla, thank you so much. And um, we got Janice Kelly. 100%. It's a very great drink. All right. Sun Hey. Yes, you can grate your ginger. And put it in the freezer, especially if you're a person who works 9 to 5 and busy all the time. Yeah, you can do that, you know what I mean? Some people cut up them, them stuff and put it in the freezer. But I don't, me, you know, I'm always doing my stuff naturally like what you see I'm doing tonight. That's what I normally do. Um, hello, Dos. Um... Um, well, um, <clears throat> let me see someone, let me see your message. Craig Goy is in the building, man. Jalex Kelly. Thank you so much. Manamos, thank you so much. My. Yeah, stop drinking Red Stripe Bear with gas. I'll tell you something. Right, what that's that going to do to you, you're just going to damage your immune system. You know what I mean? I have. A big stomach, your tummy gonna be out, puff out in front of you. That's what gonna do to you. It's better for you to drink something like this every single day. You know what I mean? Drink a nice, lovely hot cup of tea. You don't have to be this type. It can be green tea, it can be peppermint tea, it can be rosemary tea, it can be a ginger tea, it can be a garlic tea, it can be straight pineapple tea, you can drink a lemon tea. Yes, look after yourself. That's what Chef Ricardo is. But what a lot of people doesn't know. This natural tea where you see I make on, on a regular basic, all right, it do help to slow down 
cholesterol in your immune system. And it also play a role of even weight loss and also help to reduce your high blood pressure or help to reduce your sugar level. And that's why you see I drink a lot of, I try my best to drink a lot of teas and I drink a lot of water and I don't drink anything else. 95%, this is what I'm going to do. All right. And not only that, tea is very good for you. You know what I mean? And there are certain kind of tea you can drink before you even go to your bed, which is going to play a role. Very, very powerful tea. So every night I will drink my tea just because. The only reason why I did my tea, I'm so late because of time zone. You know what I mean? Different time, different places and all these things. And I guarantee some people today may eat some, some rubbish. You know what I mean? And you, you must. I'm um, sorry. Um, good evening, Chef Ricardo. Stacy. Yeah. Uh, Stacy Quint. Thank you so much. Martel. Thank you so much. Stacy. Okay, Los Angeles, big up yourself. All right. <laughs> this is what a lot of people said to me, you know. Why you I'm always making so much teas recipe and so much drink recipe? But I will I'm always asking the question, why are you eating rice and chicken every day and beef and lamb and pork every day? And um what you call it? And a lot of um even vegetables. You sometimes you have to be careful of certain kind of vegetable you eat. You know what I mean? Now Instead of you drinking certain kind of alcohol, what best for you to do is something like this you need to drink at home. You know what I mean? Drinking healthy tea, healthy juice. Even this, you can cool it down and drink it cool. And, you know what I mean? Put it on your fridge and drink it naturally like this, you know? So, this is one of the best things I could ever do. And that's why I drink a lot of tea. I drink a lot of tea, guys. Sometimes, two, three times a day, I've been drinking tea. You know what I mean? Sometimes they end up cool, but I still drink it as a detoxing tea. You know what I mean? Yeah. Instead of I'm going to be like, oh, I go in the fridge and see my fizzy juice or if you, you want to go to the shop and buy fizzy juice and drink, you're putting more sugar in your body. You know what I mean? It's better to put something healthy in your immune system. At the end of the day, it's going to slow down your cholesterol in your body. I know too much of everything does not good for you. You need to do stuff in moderation. But it's not every single day. It's only one time a day. I've been drinking. You have to drink something every single day. Son, hey, thank you so much, chef. I am uh, making... So you don't, have to and you don't have to make this kind of tea on a regular basis. Because every couple of weeks, you see, I make pineapple tea. Tomorrow, I may make different, different kind of tea. Or... Uh, Every day I do something different. Every single day. You know, I don't sleep on one thing, keep drinking it every day. Sometimes I do it for two days or three days. Like, this is one of my one which I drink sometimes for three days. Apple cider vinegar and lemon. That is a powerful drink. This one. Apple cider vinegar and lemon. And not only that, I must simply say to you, pineapple tea is very great. So... There's no one to get confusing with pineapple tea. And pineapple is a very good source for your body and very good for the immune system for you to have at home. You can get the pineapple, peel it, save the skin and eat the meat, blend it up into smoothie and have it. Powerful, natural tea. And pineapple do play a role of weight loss. All right. And all of these ingredients right here do play a role of weight loss. All right. So that's why I put the strongest because I know all of these. I'm going to give you some tips and ideas. And because I don't want you guys to get confusing with my recipes. Just be positive into yourself and know that, listen, man, at the end of the day, this is a very good option. Something where you can drink really good at home. Um, 
even Sorin. Sorin is good, guys. Um, so the, okay, let me give you some tips up on Sorin. I was going to get some fresh Sorin today, but for some reason, I forgot it. All right. Let's look at the benefit of Sorin and what Sorin can do for you. All right. I'm just going to share this article with you. Okay, yeah, I just share that's the benefit of Sarin right there. Now, well, a lot of people doesn't know that Sarin is not only just to drink for Christmas, it's got a lot more benefit towards it. Okay, and if you ever read up the full 100% of the benefit of Sarin, you will be like surprised to know oh. The benefit of sorrow is so powerful. All right, Makai, thank you so much. Um, Deborah Aris, thank you so much. Um, Winsome Portmore. Um, what's it in the pot? I'll give you some of the main ingredients what you're gonna need. Okay, we got pineapple, we got some sorrel, we got some cloves, we got some ginger, we got some cinnamon, and we got some lemon inside of it. All right, so it's such a fantastic recipe. So the sorrel give it that beautiful look what you are looking for right there. So is the sorrel what's changed the color of the tea? All right. Um, where do I buy what the siren? There's a um there's a shop there's local if you're in the UK there are local shops in London what do sell sorry you can get them to buy. Yeah, where do you get the sorry? There's our local shop in London, you can get them to buy if you are in London. Um this morning I <laughs> I saw fresh sorry for over the last say about 20 years now and I don't see fresh sorry oh you are in the u.s okay um um i would say to you probably check your local jamaican shops and see you know what i mean ask in your local era let's ask for sorry but sorry is very good guys yes you can get hibiscus in the grocery store oh stacy say you can get it stacy what you call it Ibis <laughs> hibiscus rose hibiscus Oh, well, um, you can't go to the shop and ask for that one. You have to ask for Jamaican Sarin. All right. But Sarin, guys, is very, very good. Very good um, source of it helps to do a lot of stuff. I have a recipe coming out with Sarin because, you know, Sarin, they can eat it. Well, a lot of people doesn't know. So I got a stir fry Sarin, which I want to make. You know, I mean, sure you can cook some stir fry sarin and eat it. So that video is coming out very soon. All right. And hopefully I can get the fresh sarin. But sarin is very good, guys. And sarin is just only just to make um, Christmas juice and Christmas drink, I mean. But you can use it, make a cup of tea. And it's very good for a lot more stuff. As you can see, I share one of the article with you guys. where so you can read the article for yourself. All right, I saw. Have you make? Um, no, I didn't make that one. One nine one. Um, what are we making, Chef? Um, three two five. Um, that's like sorry, and it's a pineapple tea 
and it's like it's play a role of weight loss it got some pineapple and got ginger and lemon and also we got um cinnamon and cloves in it and some sorrel so it still play a role of weight loss and also detoxing also but i'm just giving you different kind of option guys where you can also make at home if you got pineapple left over you don't have to throw with the skin um if you go to the supermarket and you buy a fresh pineapple you just want to make sure you wash it very good and remove the skin put it wash it good remove the skin put it into the freezer and use it whatever time you want to make it um stacy queen um i made that tea before and it is good okay thank you so much very very good cup of tea to drink um let's pour it off and see what's going on right over here guys all right we're gonna pour off this and an amazing cup of tea tonight with chef ricotta we're gonna be drinking something fantastic tonight now if you don't got the sorry you don't have to stress yourself use what you have at home okay instead of hibiscus is not sorry now hibiscus is a different kind of um hibiscus is like a rose plant but it's very good for high blood pressure guys hibiscus don't forget that one yeah hibiscus is a very powerful thing all right yeah hibiscus is very powerful so right here what we're gonna do we're gonna simply pour it off like this okay and that's the way it look right there that looks amazing yeah that looking fantastic okay look at that wow and then look at that guys that is excellent you see that's what's in the pot right there okay yeah we got different different kind of stuff inside of it beautiful cup of tea to drink in the night one hundred percent I think you guys need to try this recipe because it's a very powerful recipe So if you like to, you don't have to because pineapple is a little bit sweet. Let's taste it and see. Oh yeah, that is amazing. But if you like to, you can also add a little bit of honey. But I'm always encouraging you guys to drink it naturally. It's better for you to drink it naturally. All right. Yeah. Uh, what about coal and flu? I have a fresh ginger boiling and drinking. Yes. Yeah, you can drink that, man. Flush, fresh ginger. Yeah, go ahead and that one. Very powerful one that for you to drink. Yeah, 191. Yeah, ginger is very good. Even garlic. If you got some garlic, boil up some garlic tea and just drink it on his own. That's my TikTok audience talking to Chef Ricardo. No fizzy juice for me. Yes, nice one. Yeah, we try not to drink fizzy juice and try not to put in too much um, alcohol in your system. You know what I mean? You can have a one, no one, a one drink, but don't put too much in your system. All right? The best time to drink is if you go on a holiday and, you know what I mean, when you come back, you know, it's a different thing. You're going to be looking after yourself when you come back. That's the best time to have a drink. But try avoid not to put in consuming too much 
alcohol in your, in your system when you're there at home. Try and keep it. And if you have one half or one glass of wine, no one of them in, you know what I mean? Moderation, that's okay. But try your best. All right. Yeah. Tea is very nice, guys. Very nice. That's what makes me happy when I'm drinking a nice, lovely cup of tea. Yes. I do want to try this tea. Yes, you can give it a go. Now, I just put enough about a tablespoon of the sorrel inside of it to give it that beautiful, rich color. That's why you see it look like that with the pineapple. So it does bring in that and an amazing color to it. And also, it's a relaxing tea. Also, relaxing, especially if you're a person who likes to read your book, sitting in the front room. This is a beautiful cup of tea. And not only that, you can make a large portion and keep it in your fridge for three days. You know what I mean? And drink it as a detoxing tea. So you don't have to drink it hot. You can drink it cold if you like to. Very relaxing and very comfortable. Stay safe, maybe you. Yes, mission and call and flu. Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, I'm always making um turmeric tea, turmeric, turmeric and ginger shot is one of the best. Um, I I, I don't guys, I don't know if because I've I've been drinking these, you know, what I mean, um, these tea and stuff, but I don't catch cold, flu, nothing doesn't come near me, nothing doesn't come around me. No bugging, no nothing. I I don't know. But I thank God for that. But nothing doesn't come around me. And I think because of what I've been doing, it is working and it's it just you're preparing your immune system, especially outside is freeze and cold. Yeah, but it works. So you just have to prepare your immune system. Especially when you drink certain kind of things before you go to your bed. Your immune system recognizes what's going on. It's just your body is like a car. So your body is like, if you put in something good in the car, the body got the car gonna recognize it. Okay, this is a brand new oil. So the oil, your car going to run much better. So it's the same thing with your body. So my body is recognizing me that, recognizing that, okay. Is putting something healthy, nothing, nothing too rubbish. So it's gonna make me feel energized, very good. All right. But you don't have to drink tea every day. The, sometimes you have to eat some vegetables. If you notice, so I normally do and drink a lot of smoothie and green juice. Like in the January month coming ahead, you know what I mean. I will be doing a lot of smoothies and a lot of healthy juice and teas and recipes for you guys. Uh, will you post the ingredients, uh, Mary? Oh, yes. Um, if you like the ingredients, then um, what I can do over my Instagram page, I will post the in post the ingredients. All right. Beautiful cup of tea to drink before bedtime. Makai Simit. Um, Jeannie Presley.
Yeah, our grandparents drink a lot of tea, man. If you grow up with your grandparents, you'll, you'll see your grandparents in drinking a lot of tea. <laughs> you might have wondered to yourself, why my grandmother always drinking tea? My, I, I saw my grandmother used to drink a lot of tea too. Um, you only because um, YouTube um, of the message on a review. Um, Gregor, big up yourself in California, man. Dig boards. All right, you would <laughs> thank you so much, Sonny. All right, um, yes, yep. Yeah. Okay, no worries. Janice Kelly. Yeah, the turmeric tea is powerful, guys. Very, very powerful tea. Ah. Wow. Susan Puffler. Um, no, I did not make the veggie seed this morning because, <laughs> you know, when I went to my bed late and I wake up, when I went to my bed late, I wake late. So I did not make it. I need, if I'm going to make that, I have to make it in the morning. So what I would do, I may show you, um, and Susan Puffler, thank you so much for asking back for that one. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing back again. Okay, so here it is. But I'm going to tell you the honest truth. I drink the liquid earlier. <laughs> it's so nice. So I drink the liquid. Yeah. Sometimes what I normally do, I will drink the liquid. If I don't make the tea, here it is. Fennel seed. What we were talking about last night. Now, fennel seed is very good, guys. And if you got this one at home, all right, I was talking about it last night and I was going to make the tea this morning, but that was too late. So I drink the liquid earlier today. All right. So what I normally do with this one, I normally get one teaspoon of it. All right, and put it into my pot, like this, my cup. And then I pour bottle of water on it. Very good home natural remedy, guys. All right, here it is, right there. Very good drink to drink, honestly. Um, it's it's very good. Lots of Asian use it in different kind of stuff, and. In their cooking in their curry in but this guys right here if you guys you know i mean this christmas if you want to try this into some plain rice this is very good when you're making certain kind of rice dish all right yeah very very good and if you're making certain kind of vegetable dish this is also very good All right, that's fennel seed. Powerful, very good for you guys to use. So what I'm gonna do, I leave this overnight and I drink it sometime in the morning, just as it is without the seed. I strain it off and drink the liquid. Yeah. So I just cover it like this and that's it. You can drink this in the first thing in the morning. You can make it as a hot tea or you can drink the water. Yes, Gregor, yes, and the bay leaf is also good too. Ah, so you see, I can, I can soak some bay leaf overnight and drink it in the morning. Okay, all right. Um, 
Credit S will be saying that bay leaf is good. So I'm gonna see something. All right. This is my bay leaf buckle. Okay. And if you notice, this is what I do. I write bay leaf on it. And these are some organic bay leaf. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a couple of bay leaf like these. These are some organic bay leaf. Okay, I'm gonna see something. So if you guys got bay leaf at home, do this one. This is some bay leaf. Wash it off first. I like to try things guys all right so i'm gonna put some bay leaf into this cup right here like this okay and then what i'm gonna do all right let's open up the screen yeah open up the screen that's you guys can see what's going on all right so the bay leaf is in this cup right here And then what I'm gonna do, pour some water on it. All right. So I'm using bottled water. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna leave this for the next so six to seven hours or eight hours, and then I'm going to drink it and see how that tastes. All right. Let's try some bay leaf water. I never did that before. But the seeds, I did it before many times. So I like to try things and I like to learn. So if you guys have ideas, I'm willing to learn, man. Yeah. Um, I see someone saying about the skin. Yeah. Um, Jordan. Oh, this red tea right here, it is... Sorrel, pineapple, ginger, lemon, cloves, and some cinnamon stick. Very powerful one. Mix all of those ingredients with one tablespoon of sorrel inside of it. Makes the difference. All right. DD um, clear skin very good for uh, what you want to drink for clear skin is get yourself some single Bible single Bible is very good for clear skin um, drink a lot of water is very good also Jackie hmm you're welcome, Jackie. Jordan Grun. Didi. Um, follow me on Instagram, Chef Ricardo Cooking, and I can give you some tips and ideas. All right, Didi, thank you so much. Makka is Smith. Stacy. Oh. Okay. All right. That's what we're going to be doing in January after Christmas. Because now it's like everyone is um, getting Christmas ready. So, yeah. Everyone is getting Christmas ready right now. Yeah. Oh yeah. That is amazing. Now the next tea I would love to make 
for you guys is beetroot tea. All right, beetroot tea. If you got beetroot, let's join me tomorrow night. I'm going to be doing beetroot tea. Beetroot is very good. All right, let's see um, the full 100% of the beetroot tea. Tomorrow night, we want to do some beetroot tea. Not beetroot juice, the tea. All right. So, um, the person who are talking about your skin, DD, beetroot is also very good for the skin. All right. If you want to have some beetroot juice, very, very good for the skin. All right. Let me give you some tips. And it's also rich in vitamin C and clear in the skin. All right. So, DD, this is for you. All right. Tomorrow night, we're going to be making some beetroot tea. If you want to get a nice, lovely skin, this is for you. Right here. All right, DD, beetroot. Go to the supermarket and buy yourself some beetroot. So tomorrow, we're going to be making beetroot tea for the skin. If you are interested in that one, join me tomorrow night, 1 o'clock, Chef Ricardo time. All right? Yeah. Go to your supermarket and grab yourself some organic beetroot like this. We're going to be using some beetroot, grate to the beetroot, and make some tea tomorrow night. Um, good night. Thank you so much. Tomorrow, Chef Ricardo channel. <laughs> All right, so tomorrow night we're going to be making beetroot tea. If you are interested in getting the beetroot for your skin, if you're talking about having a beautiful skin, this is very good for the skin. But what you're going to have to do, I will show you how to make this one tomorrow night. All right, so go to the supermarket, grab yourself some of these fresh organic beetroot, and we're going to be doing beetroot tonight, tomorrow night. All right, Stacy, thank you so much. Very good for the skin and also very good for the blood. And also very good for high blood pressure also. Um, not blood, high, blood, high sugar level. We're going to be doing that tomorrow. Beetroot. Good night, chef. Good night to you. Cucumber is good too. All right. Jackie. Oh, thank you so much. Jewel is in the kitchen. What's going on? Nice to see you. Mm. That's it, guys. Excellent. Mm -hmm. That's from Chef Ricardo Cooking. All right. What's the ingredients? Um, it is pineapple, ginger, lemon, cinnamon, cloves, and sorrel instead of it. This ingredients will be on my YouTube channel in the next 15 minutes time. All right. Yes, Christmas tips now, guys. It's time to close the show. Thank you so much for every one of you guys who will watch me tonight. I really appreciate it. Julie is in the building, man. Shout out to big, 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 big of yourself, Julie. Thank you so much for your support. All right. Are you done? Are All right, so tomorrow night, guys, tomorrow night, join me tomorrow night. We're going to make a beetroot tea, all right? Yes, tomorrow night, join me. We're going to be doing something fantastic tomorrow night. Turn on the notification on your 
on your YouTube channel or join the membership that so you don't miss the video. We're going live tomorrow night. We are going live tomorrow night. NS, thank you so much. All right. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for coming on the show this evening. We really appreciate every one of you. All right. Good night. All right, guys. Thank you so much. And remember anything you are doing tonight, remember to put God first, man. Bless upon yourself. And, you know what I mean, and stay focused, all right? No negativity, just stay positive and looking forward for better in the future in 2023 by the grace of God, man, all right? Yeah. Uh, what's the time now? Okay, it's not too bad tonight. This is just 1.29 in London at the moment. Thank you always, Chef Ricardo Cooking. Big up yourself. Appreciate the love, man. All right. Impressed. Big up on herself every time. On all those I support Chef Ricardo Jackie. Big up on herself every time. Remember, put God first in everything what you guys do at home. Impa. Thank you so much, Marissa. Thank you so much. All right. Appreciate you guys' love tonight. Marisa. Amen. All right, Miss Brown, thank you so much. All right, guys, I'm going to close the show and good night to every one of you guys. All right, have a good evening. See you next time. Bye bye.